Hi there and welcome. It's Tanya from Tutter's Treasures. Hello there. Um, so we're going to start um, on the daisy journals and um, auto file folders. So the journals, um, they're both going to um, have fabric fronts but um, they're going to be made from, from an envelope. These are, I think they're like A4, just a, well, they fit A4 paper, so, you know, they're a bit bigger um, than A4. So it's about 13 inches. I'm going to be cutting this down a, a bit anyway um, by nine. Um, but you don't need an envelope because I'm not using it as an envelope. I'm not, you know, opening it up or anything like that. Literally just using it as a as a base. Um, because I've got a million envelopes. <laughs> and I'm sure you probably have too. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're making the covers out of. I'm doing um, one in this pretty uh, fabric. I've had this for, oh, about a year. I bought um, a little bundle of about five or six um, materials and this was, was in that. So colour-wise, I thought that went super. And then I've got the uh, William Morris. Um, somebody did tell me what that was um, called and I've forgotten again. Um, the William Morris material. So that's going to be um, what we're going to cover it with. I've chosen these two. Now, if you've missed any of the videos where I've made anything that you're going to see um, over the next few days, there is a playlist. It is uh, called The Daisy Journal. And um, I think I've literally made everything on screen. So, um, yeah, pop back and um, have a look. I will put um, the playlist link um, at the top of um the description um today and um you know why i'm making the journals and the file folders in case you want to um flick back so that's what i'm going to use as as um you know the fronts so that's that I'll just put those two well i don't want to put them too far um away so that's what we're making it on um and look through my um Oh dear, botanical books, and these was the only two uh, I'd got with daisies, so I tea stained them so they they can go um, in the journal. So I'll pop those over there. Um, the kit, obviously, that I'm using is Nanny's from Collage Type. It's the grungy um, daisy journal. There's a couple of um, additions to this. Um, junk journal, there's a planner kit, a junk journal kit and I think it's called a file folder um, kit. So um, this is what I've printed off uh, for the journal. These are going to be um, like in the inside, you know, cut in half either side. So that's going to be what I use for the insides and I'm using the same because it's, it's a really beautiful um, picture that is and I've printed off uh, two sheets of vellum because I thought the first um, sheet in the vellum would be very nice um, in the journal I, I think I said that back to front but um, so when that's in that'll be the first page and that'll be the inside of the cover you'll have uh, the full image and when you get to the back you'll have the full image I've done that a few times and I really do like it and I'd forgot about it so that's um, what we're going to be using um, for for that. Um, these are, I don't know if these are all of them or not, but these are the actual journal uh, pages. So I've printed um, this on the back, which is also out of the, the kit. So each of the journals is going to have four of these in. I have printed these on 160... GSM um, so it's um, I tend to use these um, for sticking my pockets on and using the tea stained paper as um, you know journal uh, space so these are a bit more sturdier to be hanging um, things things on them so we've got
and they've all got the same same back and that one so there'll be four of those in obviously these all need cutting uh, down and I did measure them and they are 11 um, across by eight so that makes those five and a five and a half each panel which means I want to cut this down to I don't know if to cut it at six I have put on here five and three quarters I think I'll do it at six so I said that was five and a half didn't I it's that eleven yeah, so that's five and a half. Hmm. Five and a half. No, I'll go five and three quarters. Yeah, because um, if I've got lace and stuff, obviously I would like it peeping, peeping out. I've not even thought of a closure. That's the first time that's popped into my head. So yeah, I will do it five and three quarters. And um, the height is eight. So I've done that eight and a quarter, so that gives me a quarter. No, I'm gonna do this at six, sorry. Um, yeah, but I'll still do the, um, you know, no idea. Um, so I'm gonna do this at six. Okay, so bye. Yeah, okay, so that's, um, my measurements so that is those so obviously these all need um, cutting down so that can go on there and um, just to give it a bit more uh, stability and obviously even though I'm going to cut these down this is still going to be bigger than um, than this um, so it does need you know something um, going around it now my first thought was oh I'll collage um, some book pages I've done that on a video before um, just to fill um, that that space uh, what's round um, also I, I often uh, stencil you know heavily ink and then stencil all around you know to hide um, that bit but um, I thought I'd use this paper which I bought um, the other week from uh, the range um, I, have, I have showed it yeah and um, yeah I thought that would give it some some stability as well because I did think shall I put some card inside which I've done that before which was fine um, I did cut it in half um, so I've still got that bend free and then I, I did um, stabilize the the middle I can't quite remember um, how so that's that um, so I'm gonna use um, some papers in in here just thinking would I just need one yeah I think by the time I've probably cut it down yeah of course I will um, because I'm leaving that at six so that's obviously 12 so that's ideal yeah, so I'm only going to need one for, for each one. So I might as well pull them out now, haven't I? Um, and then I can get this out, out of the way. I am leaning towards this, but then I think oh, I absolutely love this and you are only going to see um, around it. So maybe that would be best. And I love that one too. Um, maybe that one would be best to, to save. So, I might use this because yeah, I like it, um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's nothing um, fabulous. You know, I could just use tea stain paper, uh, whereas these... Um, with the um oh dear sorry i'm still um getting over being poorly um you know these have got the texture with the um advantage of the being no bulk so i do think that they will come come in handy um a lot more which is why i bought 
but the pad. Ah, oh, beautiful. I think this would have been handy to have two of these, you know, because I mean, these would be like a stable. Staple. Oh, did I say stable? <laughs> Oh dear, Ryan would have laughed at me if he'd heard me say, say that. I've come out with some right um, corkers in the past uh, week while I've not been very well. Um, he's been laughing at me. Um, right, so that is that. And then I've picked out a few pieces um, for... I don't know where that's come from. saw that somewhere earlier. Let's put it in my little thing. Um... Yeah, some, some pieces. So I was thinking of putting those in the front cover because when I did make these, I mean, they're not very bulky at all. Um, but, you know, they, I suppose, they, I don't know. They are very thin. Anyway, I'm thinking of using those in the front and the other paper bag uh, pockets in the back. And um, I've picked out two little notebooks. Um that we made again everything uh there's a video for everything um so that's the front and the back these are pieces that um are going to be sewn sewn in when the signature's um sewn in so i've got one for um each and uh these are going to get sewn in as well so i'll keep those out and put those with the pages so i don't forget um, about those and I think I think that's it <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on pause I'm going to cut these both down to these um, sizes and then I think I'm going to cut this down at the same time only because the um, I was going to say the printer takes the whole table up yeah I bet it would do um, the cutter will take the whole table up so um, there's nothing to see here, <laughs> um, so I'll do that off off camera, and then um, I shall be back. And um, yeah, we'll make a start. Um, if you saw my recent haul, and I was um, taken by this tin it's on my table uh, with my pens in, so I did find um, a nice use for it. And I think you can possibly just see it. So I thought, I thought I'd show you. Right, I'll see you in a tick. Okay, I've done my cutting. Um, I've cut those as well. I just um, cut around um, the, you know, the border, and then I folded it in half and cut it in half. So I've got obviously two of those. Um, I didn't need to cut the the twelve down, obviously, but I cut um, the height down to what did I say? eight and a quarter did i say eight and a quarter so now they are exactly the same uh, size um i do know like i am gonna have to trim it off uh, slightly because i don't want it you know butt into into there but um yeah for now that's um fine and um yeah i've cut cut both of uh, these down so obviously now these are um open so i will put some glue on um so i think first i best cut these down before i actually uh, forget because it's okay saying yeah yeah i know <laughs> i know about that um so i'm thinking what do these actually look like on here oh that's nice so i mean i could cut these down more um so you could um see that a bit more I am thinking I might take some off the height, you know. I mind you, by the time I've cut some off there, I think it will have about the same um, border round. So, let's, um, I wonder if I just took a centimetre off each side, that um, that would then just um, open, open that up. I think that would be, be enough. Or should I say, I don't think it'll be too much. Yeah. I am going to put my, um, um, oh dear, the masking, it's not masking tape, it's framers tape. I am going to put that down the centre um, as well. And on the other side, obviously, we'll have the fabric and then we'll have the lace. 
so I think um, it's only going to be one signature so I think you know that'll be um, secure enough so let's um, let's take oh this is going to be a pain to take a centimetre off um, so how much is this and yeah it's going to be terrible so if I do it I don't know if that's a centimetre that metal um, bar that's, um, can you see this bit here I don't know if you can see it now that's just over a cent just over a centimetre but I'm thinking if I do that that will um, I think that will be fine let's, let's have a look yeah we'll make it fine anyway it's um, obviously you know there's no there's no proper way um, to to do this I don't I don't think <laughs> um, everybody seems to do it different I think you need to change it up depending on you know what you're using um, everybody's using different things um, you know different sizes and, and all the rest of it so you kind of you know, just have to um, adapt it to to what you're doing and what you've got, and um, yeah, what you think is um, is best. I don't even know if I think this is best, but <laughs> I'm not even. I didn't even consider what's best, and um, yeah, it's just, it's just you know the way. I suppose if you looked back, I've probably done it very similar all the way. Um, through. I think I'm going to keep those because I think they would be nice little um, edge strips and I do have another tin um, <laughs> this is this one's from my mum's uh, Wedgwood one which I've been keeping my uh, strips in so oh now I can't put them put them back oh sorry sorry right so I think now we're in for a for an inking session aren't we um so i think i'm going to light the candle um i don't know what date it is so i don't know about um reading um oh i do i do so i'm going to light this and it is water lily and mint beautiful um, I'll pop that. Let's pop it somewhere safe. Can you still see it there? That's it. Right. So let's have a let's have an ink. I'm going to use um, gathered twigs. I think that's what I've used um, throughout. Um, so yeah. Oh, I wanted to see actually what the border was like now. Oh, crack it's but it's the same apart from um, the bottom. Oh, maybe I didn't really need um, these, but like I say, it will give it some stability. I mean, they're longer. Hmm. I don't think it matters. We can we can adapt it, can't we? As as we go, I'm still going to ink around um, these because um, you know you might you might see them. Yeah, I'm really glad I bought this paper pad. It was only, you know, a few pounds. Um, really um, cheap. I've never had one with um, all textures in, so that's really nice. And, um, yeah, I mean, I love burlap and, and stuff, and I try and use it as much as possible. But, um, yeah, sometimes it, it can be, um, you know, slightly too thick for certain projects and, and things. So it would be nice to to have it in a paper just need to remember um i've got it <laughs> so but i think if if you gather your stuff i mean you'll know when i start projects and stuff i look all around um my craft room and i i, I gather it together um and i don't over gather that you know there's way too too much i kind of um I may I normally choose between like book pages and music page as you know a paper that I'm going to use within it um so I've not got loads of different papers out and and things and then 
um, when I was looking for, you know, materials and ribbons and things like that, I was picking, um, you know, tea stainy looking things, um, a, a nice kind of green, um, and I think I went more for um, an orangey colour than, than a yellowy colour. I went more for for that kind of colour. So I didn't, you know, get get everything thin out. Um, and then I think, you know, that way you kind of... Yeah, there'll be things that I've forgotten to use. But um, I don't think I, I forget too much. And I think with, with looking around my craft room, every project I do... It reminds me of what, what I've got. I mean, I've not got a very big uh, craft room and I've not been, you know, crafting for years and years like um, some some of you ladies have. Um, and, you know, already I for, forget things. So if I'd had something about 10 years, I, yeah. I mean, if I bought something a month ago, I have to question. <laughs> question where I had it from and what did I need it for and um yeah I've started to if I'm buying new things apart from like basic things like that paper pad what what I've just bought I would call that a basic because you know you can use that in in everything but if I'm buying specific things for specific projects I kind of think what are my next couple of projects going to be and um you know, as I was searching for the things for the daisy, I was kind of keeping in mind my next two projects. Um, so I could think, oh, I haven't got any, um, you know, nothing in peach, say. Um, and that's, you know, going to be one of my next projects. Um, and then I will write it down um, and, you know, have an hour looking round on, um, you know, eBay and... Uh, wherever else and um, yeah order the things then um, and yeah try not to think oh one day I would like to make um, you know a blah blah because um, I just think you know we all want to make everything don't we really right so I hope that's not been too too boring for you. Not not listening to me. To, well, I hope that wasn't boring listening to me talk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought I'll just talk why I'm why I'm inking. It's a, it's a good opportunity because I've, I've not really got to think about um, inking. Well, she says <laughs> when I realise I've missed a massive massive bit. So I'm going to pause now and just finish this one off. Okay, we're all inked. I've got my uh, mat out. So I'm going to glue the inside in first because when I sew the material on, um, I obviously I want the stitching um, on the paper um, instead of trying to stick the paper on over the back of the, the stitching, which can sometimes... Um, well, sometimes it just doesn't stick down correctly, does it? Right, I'm going to pop some uh, glue in here. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just doing it so it literally doesn't, um, you know, gather any kind of air pocket. Um, so it just lays um, a bit flatter. Okay, so that's that one. And let's do this one. So I'm just using uh, the clout. I could use absolutely anything uh, for this. Um, I am waiting for um, a glue stick to to come. Um, Rita Jensen had made, um, and thank you, Rita, for using uh, my affiliate link. But um, yeah, she did an order with Stationery Pal, and um, she tried out their uh, glue stick, and she said that it was fabulous. So. Um, I've ordered myself um, one of those, and um, yeah, so I'll let you know what it's what it's like when it comes. So I found my brayer. <laughs> I've had a couple of conversations uh, about my brayer. I think um, Alison couldn't find her brayer, and um, 
I can't remember if I messaged her about it, but um, yeah, because I was poorly. But um, yeah, I was um, thinking my Breya has um, probably gone on holiday with Alison's Breya. And then um, Denise couldn't find her Breya either. So yeah, I think um, I think they'd gone jet setting some, somewhere, <laughs> had, had a break. So I'm glad that I've relocated it because uh, I do find it really handy so they're going to be my front these are going to be my inside so let's get these uh, panels on first I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink down this middle inside I think that's me fold it that way um, just so I can see uh, where, where the middle is it's a bit easier let's have a look at that yeah, because I think I would have probably gone to um, the other line. These have got several lines on because, um, oh gosh, I folded these ages ago. Um, I think I made them before I even started YouTube. And I forgot even how I made them. But um, there was something I did with decoupage. Um, I made about six, six sets. I know that I put them on Instagram. I did... Um, I did put them in the Etsy shop. I just can't remember um, how I did them. <laughs> so these was um, folded up um, with some napkins waiting for me to do to do whatever with. And I just totally forgot how I'd, how I'd done it. So I'm going to, going to, going to, I think this, this paper's actually higher now than it shouldn't be, should it? No, it's exactly the same time, yeah. Right, so I'm going to glue this right at the end of, of here. Do I want clown on? Yes, because it will give me that slippy, slippy time to um, slip it, slip it about and um, make sure it's, it's straight. Now, the only thing is, with any glue that gives you that wiggle time, which is a you know massive pro to it the con is it can slip off um so let me so like here how i've got it um you know right on when i now go and do that because it's still slippy it it can then slip and you don't realize um, so I, I always, well, I do refer when I remember, um, just, you know, be quite gentle uh, with it until it's, you know, stuck itself self in. Um, I think I'll do the other panel before I, um, before I get the brayer out, because this is a, a job for the brayer. And I must keep getting it out to remind myself now that um, it's there, because... Because I've not been using it for so long, I shall um, forget. So that's right there. That's right there. So yeah. And to get, get the prayer. I'll do this side first because this will have had a minute, a minute longer. I am all thinking I might cut the what's going in the centre down. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I think I'll pause and um, do the other one because I'm sure you don't want to see me do that bit twice. I think sometimes it is handy. Um, to see things twice and um yeah it saves you keep rewinding because i know when when i followed what um somebody's doing and um you know you're listening to them you keep lifting your head up and having a look um and then you you've missed it and you're like oh my goodness they've done it how did they do it um and then you have to keep rewinding it and you rewind it too much and this isn't folding down properly um yeah you rewind it too much and then you end up pairing the same sentence over and over again or is that just me that does that 
Um, but yeah, I remember. Um, I suppose really when I first, um, I, you know, I've told you the people who I watch when I first ever discovered it. But I think when I first started doing tutorials, it was probably um, Izzy B who I followed and um, Dawn the Book Vandal um, for, you know, who I was following tutorial wise. <laughs> and then, uh, gosh. There was a few of Dawn's that I must have watched about, no exaggeration, about 20 times. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I always uh, fast uh, rewinded it too, too far. I'd be like, yes, Dawn, I know that bit. <laughs> just just do that next bit Why I'm, you know, concentrating. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so I do think sometimes seeing it twice... Um, Especially if you are following along, it just gives you. Because I mean, I know what I'm, I'm stretching for next, and what I'm gonna need. You know, as a watcher, um, you you don't know. So I think you need that um, extra extra moment. And if you're not following along, you'll you'll just be fed up of seeing it twice. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay, so I'm quite happy um, with those. Now, I am just thinking, mm, yeah, I want this because I wanted a bit more stability, but I think it would have been nice to see see some of it round it. Now, let me think if I was putting this on. Yeah, it's still not fun. So I am going to take some off it. And all I'm going to take off it is... I don't know. Just a touch at the top. Well, I'll I think I'll take it from the bottom. Because I would say that that's one eighth, would you? And that's one eighth. So if I took... I wish I knew maths. I really do. Um, my mind's not working. Um, let me think. Okay, so I've just took another smidgen off the bottom and it was a smidgen. So now we've got a bit of a border there and a bit of a border at the bottom. I'm not even going to think about maths. Like, I don't do maths, I don't know why I'm thinking about it. Right, so I'm going to put these two together because I'm going to cut that side. And with those two, I'm going to cut the other side. So I'm going to turn that round and I'm going to hold it, make sure it's all together. And pop it in. I don't know why it looks uneven now. I suppose that's, that's the thing with doing more than one. I could clip it, but um, I've run out of my small clips. I think I've got that many um, projects. Um, you know, sort, sorted out in folders, um, ready, ready to go. Um, but I've used all my little clips. I've got plenty of big ones, but see, I think that could have done with a little bit more off. But you're not, I don't think you're gonna, oh, I don't know. Let's take a little bit more off. So I probably needed to take about two eighths off, but again, it, it's dependent on, um, you know, the size of, of yours and the way, the way you've done it. But um, yeah, if you wanted something to make it more um more stable and then you wanted to mat um over the top then obviously you know you'd have to work your own border um out so yeah that's much better 
I still think I could have done with a smidgen more. Shall I go a smidgen more? I bet you're like, oh my goodness, just got on with that. Okay, and got on with it, I did. <laughs> so, that's a lot better. Okay. So I think sometimes you best just take in a slither, a slither, a slither. But um, yeah, I just could not get my brain to to um, to think. But um, yeah, that, that's okay. I don't mind taking a slither at a time. I think when you don't trust your own uh, maths as well, I think sometimes you just best best to do that. To be quite honest. But if if you're confident with your maths, then you know I'd definitely go go with the maths. It's only because I'm not confident um, that I don't. It's another been my strong point. I'd, I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again because <laughs> it'll make me smile. Um, when I had my um, my oldest two children, who my oldest daughter's now uh, 30, and so um, my middle daughter is, she's just turned 28. Um, I think they'd have been, oh, well, they went to nursery, they went to private nursery, and I went um, back into education, and um, like, you know, higher education. And so, um, yeah, I did a basic um, maths, English. Did it alongside um, an access to, to social work course, um, which was a course with a view to, to go on to university. And um, yeah, so you had to, you know, have a certain um, maths and, that looks really nice. Um, <laughs> maths and English and uh, a science and I chose biology and um, yeah I didn't do any good in, in any of them <laughs> I was, the biology I was terrible and um, again I've said before that I was really lucky um, I met this lovely lady who was she was quite a bit older than me um, Jeanette her name was well her name still is Jeanette excuse me <coughs> and um <laughs> she took pity on me <laughs> and um yeah luckily she was really good at biology she was really good at everything um it, oh she was lovely she was dab mumsy and and stuff um i don't know why we lost contact it's strange isn't it how um how you do i think life just takes takes you on a different path doesn't it um and she she'd got a son um it was in um, a wheelchair. I can't quite remember um, what was wrong with him. So she actually, she wasn't doing the course with a view to go on to university. She she literally lived, you know, a stone throw away from the college. And, um, yeah, she just wanted to get out of the house. Um, her son was, a, you know, grow, well, not grown up a teenager. Um. So yeah, she kind of took me under her wing and um, oh, she used to sit hours trying to get this biology to um, stick in my head. And in the end, it was, you know, quite clear that it wasn't going to happen. So yeah, she just used to really <laughs> let me look at her work and uh, copy it, <laughs> quite, you know, quite honestly. Um, and I, I did manage to, to pass, uh, luckily, <laughs> you know, by skin of my teeth. Um, but yeah, in the maths um, class, um, again, I did pass it, but um, yeah, it was by the skin of my teeth. And um, this actually, and I hadn't planned this, this fits um, exactly. So I'm going to run uh, this down it. I don't, I, I will put a little bit of glue. I don't really think it does need it. It's very strong tape, this uh, framers tape. I have got it on my uh, Amazon um, shop front and it's under bits and bobs, I think. Um, and I'm always pulling it out. It's um, it's very, very good. Um, yeah, and at the end of term, you know, we had a bit of a, I don't know if we had a fuddle or, or what, but um, 
I don't know, it's, it's fuddle, um, a word that she used everywhere. A fuddle is kind of, um, you know, you'll all bring a bit of something. It's not really a buffet, it's not really a party, but you just bring a bit of something. You just, you know, stand around, eat a bit of something, have a chat, um, and, and that's kind of, kind of it. So, and um, he awarded everybody um, with, with a certificate. So, um, you know, you, I don't know what there was, but there was probably, um, you know, most attended, highest, um, and, and all that kind of thing. And um, I got the award of, it's doing my head in. <laughs> Because that's all I said all year. <laughs> what was his name? It wasn't Brian. It was Brian. Brian. I want to say Brian, but that's a lady's name. It was. It was something like Brian, but it wasn't. It had Brian in it anyway. Um, Bronston. Oh, I don't know. It was a lovely man, um, and he had the patience of a saint. Uh, but yeah, all the time I would have my hand up and go, oh, will you please help me? I mean, bear in mind, I was like, oh, I don't know, 26. <laughs> I, weren't, I weren't a kid. <laughs> please, will you help me? It's doing my head in. So yeah, I've still got that certificate somewhere. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. I never did go, go on to university, but um, I did, I did do... Um, the first two years at home, um, I did an open university course, um, and I passed both of them. I did really well because, um, yeah, it was you know more of poverty and community and and that kind of stuff. Which um, yeah, that kind of stuff really interests me, and I want I want to know things and and stuff. I'm just not very good, um, you know, at the academic um, type things. Hey, I'm really chuffed with that. You know, if I'd have tried to get... Is that an inch, then? No, that can't be an inch. Oh, it is. It's an inch. Um, if I'd have tried to do that, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So, yeah, that's lovely. So, that's the inside. Uh, covers done. So, now we're going to do uh, the outside. Uh, this is where I go all quiet. and Because, um, you know, I've still not not messed about with fabric a lot it's still but what i need to do is think of it as paper i don't need to be thinking of it as fabric because as soon as i think fabric i think back to um you know doing sewing at school <laughs> um so i'm going to cut it down not perfectly to size um closely um, and then after I've sewn it, I think I will um, um, cut it. What's this called? The Good Earth by Hoffman International. Ooh, I wonder if that's good, good fabric. I don't know. I'm, like I say, I'm not, not up on fabrics. So I'm going to take this off. I mean, really, I could start by that side, couldn't I? Yeah, let's start by that side. Well, the lady who's cut this is very nice, um, nice and straight. <laughs> so, with bearing that in mind, apart from this bit that's sticking, sticking up, um, you can say that those two. Shall I lay it that way? Um, two of the sides are going to be straight, aren't they? So, if I do. It like that because I don't know if I want the fabric a little bit longer um, which I'm you know gonna see after I've um, sewn it so let's um let's do it so I'm thinking if I cut it across there first instead of cutting it all the way down there and then ending up with you know that size um, all the way down So I'm, I'm guessing it will rip um, nicely. Let's um, let's see. Yeah, super. So that's that. And if we go 
now. If I hadn't have made um, quite a few ruffles and things for these journals, I would actually use this bit then for some ruffles to have matching uh, ruffles inside. But um, yeah, I've already got lots, so so I won't. I'll save it for, for another time. So yeah, I've definitely got enough for another cover another time. So that's that one. Now this other um, is quite a bit larger. So I think I'm going to rip it down. Um, first. That's, um, oh, I've got an headache coming. I've had quite quite a bad date with the COVID. Right. So if I get it like so and I'll pop that against there. That's um like that. And there. Okay, and then if I put well, that's folded, isn't it? So I need to allow for just a little bit more. This is a bit of an awkward um, angle and I've not got my fabric scissors out. Okay. Still, still an awkward angle. Right, so that's that. So if I rip that down there, lovely. That. So, so I've got my two pieces of fabric. Well, well, I've well, I've straightened, straightened it up. So I'm going to call that a video, and oh, I hope that's not gone too short. That is the only thing we're ripping, isn't it? Um, I will get them sewn on, and um. Then, oh, is that my piece? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll continue. So, bye for now.